Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to showcase how to add basic animations to MetaHumans. Uh, so for most projects, people just want to create a short movie or a simple game, or they just want some sort of NPCs. And you just want to have some basic MetaHuman animations, um, so they're not just standing there stiff. And you, you may have tried to search on the marketplace, and there isn't much there. Um, and instead of paying and going to complex programs there's actually a really easy way to add animations but it's a bit hidden i'm not sure why so here it goes as you can see i have unreal engine 5.1 open and this is just a basic level it's a blank project so um, anyone can do it on whatever project that they're working so first things first we're just going to add a meta human so you go here you go on to quixel bridge and you go to the meta human section here and I already have a downloaded one, so I'm just going to choose that. We have tray right here, and I'm just going to add it to the project. So once you add, add it to the project, it's going to ask you for all these plugins. You can just enable all of them, and um, it'll ask for a restart. So we're just going to simply restart the editor. All right, so once your editor is restarted, it's gonna take some time to process the shaders and everything, so give it some time. Um, we're gonna go into the tray folder right here, and we're gonna drag in the BP tray onto the level. All right, the first time you drag it onto the level, it may take some time, so just be a bit patient. So here we go, uh, here's tray. Uh, you'll notice in your MetaHuman, this is like a side tip. Um, and when you like zoom out the beard or the hair may disappear so how you fix that is you actually open the blueprint and I'll just put docket right here and then if you go onto the left and you scroll all the way down you should see LOD sync you click on it and on the details right here on the forced LOD instead of negative one set it to one hit compile you'll get some warnings you can ignore it I'm gonna compile save and you'll see that now the beard and the hair won't go away anymore okay so now when we hit play you'll see that it's in a stiff t pose and let's we want to fix that so here's how you do it so you go here and you want to add the uh, basic mannequin that the unreal engine comes with so you can go to add feature or content pack and you can add any of these ones uh, i'm just going to choose the third person and i'm going to say add to project right here and I'm going to close this. So once you add to project, you'll have the characters folder. So you open the characters folder, go to the mannequin for Unreal Engine 5, and go to rigs. So once you go to rigs, um, you'll see that you have the RTG mannequin. So you can actually open this right here, and you can uh, put it right here. And you'll see this is used for retargeting animations from one skeleton to another. So in our case, we want to retarget from the UE5 mannequin to the metahuman mannequin. So instead of, so you'll see source here. So yet we want the source to be the UE5 mannequin and the target, we're going to choose the IK metahuman. And then you need to choose the body for your uh, metahuman. And the, the way you find that is if you go to your BP tray or whatever um, metahuman that you have, if you go to the body section, um, you'll see the skeletal mesh asset here. So mine is called mTOL and RW body. <clears throat> so I can just put that one here. So it's right here. So I can just attach that. Um, now with the metahuman, it doesn't actually show the mesh, but you can just, what we really need to see is just the bones. So I can just see the bones right here. But we don't need to do anything with this right now. I can just hit save. And you'll notice that over here, you you have all these different animations and stuff, but they're not re yet ready to be ported over. So what you want to do is go back to the content drawer and you want to go to the skeletal mesh for the UA5 mannequin. And the way you can do that quite easily is hit the folder button right here. So the browse. Now, once you're here, you don't want to choose the skeletal mesh. You want to choose the skeleton. So it's it has this like a cyan color. So you double click on it and you'll you'll come to this uh, 
to this panel and that's why I'm saying it's hidden. If you actually hit on, click on window right here and go to the um, asset details and you click on it, you'll have the option to choose compatible skeletons right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the plus sign and we're going to choose the meta human skeleton right here. So we're going to right click and then we're going to choose the meta human base skeleton. So make sure you choose this one. So you choose this one. You don't need to do anything. You just close it. Uh, you can save it right here and then close this one as well. And then also close the RTG mannequin. But before you close it, um, make sure you um, click this so you know where it is. And we're going to close it now and we'll reopen. Now, if you actually search for idle here, the RTG mannequin, you'll see that you'll have the idle animation. And if you double click um, right now, you only see the bones, but you can see that it looks the same. If you want to see the whole mesh, you can actually click here and choose the preview right here. And I'm going to choose idle again. And I'm going to choose this and you'll see that the animation is perfectly mapped. So now if you actually export the selected animation and then you have to choose where you want to export it, I'm going to export it into my meta human folder and I'm going to hit export. And now you'll see we have the MM idle animation here. And now if you actually go to your BP tray, you can um, choose the body again here and then on the in the details, look at the uh, animation section. And then instead of using the animation blueprint, you can choose use animation asset and you can drag the idle animation that we created all over here. Now we'll hit compile. And then if you go back to the basic, uh, if you go back to the level and you press play, you'll see that your character is fully animated and you didn't have to buy a package or any do anything complex. So this doesn't only work with idle, any animation that works on the UE5 mannequin would work here. So if I, uh, there's a bunch of other ones that come with this basic as well. So if you look over here, we have run forward. So you can see this works as well. You can do jump and you can have like the landing animation. So it's pretty good for um, any of these animations that you can just put it on your uh, metahuman. So I hope that was cool and that you can animate your metahumans. Um, you can actually retarget a lot of other animations just like this as well. So the ones on the UE4 mannequin and some other ones like the um, actor package and everything like that. Uh, but I want to keep this one short and just show how to do the basic ones first. And perhaps I'll do that in another video. Thanks for watching.